Badminton Equipment. We all know, in order to play badminton, we will need to have all the equipment needed. Let's look at it one by one. The first equipment is of course this. It is called a racket. Racket is used to hit the shuttlecock in a badminton game. The racket can be described in four parts. The first part is the head. It is where the string is tied. The second part is the throat. Just like human throat, which connects our head and body, the racket throat connects the racket head to its body. In older racket, the throat is normally a connector with a T-shape. But with modern technology, the whole racket is now made in one piece. So the head and the body are made in one mold. The third part is the shaft. It enable the racket to be longer for longer reach. And the last part is the handle. Handle is the part where you hold the racket. Normally, this part is wrapped or covered by a grip. Choosing a racket is very important for a badminton player. You can see our video on how to choose a badminton racket. We will put a link at the end of this video. Next is the shuttlecock. We use the racket to hit the shuttlecock. It is formally called shuttlecock, with an R. It is also called bird or birdie. The shuttlecock can be made of goose feather, duck feather, or plastic. It is made of 16 feathers embedded into a rounded cork based. Shuttlecock have a few different speeds. The temperature and the altitude affects the shuttlecock's flight speed. Higher temperature and high altitude will make the shuttlecock fly faster. The shuttlecock has to be kept in a damp environment to maintain its quality. The choosing of a shuttlecock is also very important in badminton, you can see the guide of choosing a shuttlecock in the link at the end of this video. The attire for badminton playing is not strict. You can wear whatever you want to play badminton. Although to move fast and freely in the court, you must choose a comfortable clothes for you. It can be a round neck t-shirt, collared t-shirt, or even a sleeveless t-shirt. It can be weird with a short, short skirt or track bottom. Normally the material used is lightweight and quick drying material. You don't want your shirt to absorb all the sweat and make you uncomfortable do you? All the extra sweat could also add some weight and slows down a little bit of your movement. The shoes is also an important part in playing badminton. Suitable shoes for badminton playing is lightweight and flexible. Because badminton is a sport that require a player to move in all direction, the shoes must have suitable sole. Running shoes are not suitable for badminton playing, because it is designed for you to move forward, not sideways. It has a high sole which can cause you injury like sprained ankle when you move sideways. Badminton should be played in a rectangle-shaped court with 13.4 meter long, and 6.1 meter width. There are multiple lines in the court. The lines should be 40 millimeters wide. The lines marking out the court shall be easily distinguishable and preferably be colored white or yellow. All the lines shall form part of the area which they define. In the middle of the court, dividing the court into two, is the post and net. The posts should be 1.55 meters in height. The posts or its supports, should not extend into the court. The top of the net from the surface of the court should be 1.524 meters at the center of the court and 1.55 meters over the sidelines for doubles. There should be no gaps between the ends of the net and posts. So there you go. All the equipment you need to play badminton. Happy playing.